Hi guys, welcome to exam pack. In today's class, we are going to learn how to solve the steps of problems. So for that, first I am going to simplify this because I need to know what's the relation between this term and this term. So in order to know this, first I am going to take this term and I am going to simplify that. Okay, so 3 minus 2 root 2. So I am going to take this term. Now I am going to write this 3 as 2 plus 1 minus 2 root 2. Now I am going to assume a letter for these values. I am going to take a square as 2 and b square as this one. Okay, now I will get a as root 2 and b as root 1. Just substitute this variable in the place of this equation. So therefore this equation becomes which is equal to the root of a square plus 1 minus 2 into so 1 can be written as b square right so b square minus a b so this is the formula for what so the root of a minus b the whole square is so, it they substitute whose values here therefore the root of a is what root 2 minus b is what root 1 the whole square and the square and this root get cancelled therefore i will get root 2 minus root 1 root 1 can be written as root 2 minus 1 so now i get the value for this root 3 minus 2 root 2 g is equal to root minus 1 okay so now I am going to substitute this value in the place of here. The actual question. So the actual question is what? So the actual question is root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 minus 1 plus root of 3 minus 2 root 2. This is for the actual, actual question. So I am going to substitute this value instead of this. Therefore this becomes root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 minus 1 plus root 2 minus 1. Now I am going to take LCM. Therefore, if I take LCM, root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1. Here I am going to multiply root 2 minus 1 into root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2 minus 1. So, which is equal to root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 minus 1 plus this can be written as root 2 minus 1 into 3 times. a into a is a square, right? Similarly, I am going to write root 2 minus 1 the whole square divided by root 2 minus 1. So, now g is equal to root 2 plus 1 and plus root 2 minus 1 the whole square divided by root 2 minus 1. Okay. Now, this is in the format of what? a minus b the whole square is it so formula is a square plus b square minus 2ab now i am going to apply this formula in the place of this therefore root 2 minus 1 the whole square can be written as root 2 the whole square plus 1 square minus 2 into root 2 into 1 okay so which is equal to root and square get cancelled therefore 2 plus 1 minus 2 root 2 and this can be and this can be written as 3 minus 2 root. Okay, just apply this number in the place of here. Therefore, g is equal to root 2 plus 1. And this can be written as, sorry, plus here. So, 3 minus 2 root 2 divided by root 2 minus 1. Okay, now g is equal to 3 plus 1, 4 plus root 2 is common between these two so here minus 2 here plus 1 so divided by root 2 minus 1 so g is equal to 4 plus minus 2 plus 1 is what 1 therefore root 2 divided by root 2 minus 1 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take conjugate in order to simplify this therefore g is equal to 4 plus root 2 divided by root 2 minus 1 I am going to take conjugate okay conjugate means what nothing but 
just change the denominator sign and multiply in numerator as well as in the denominator. So root 2 change this sign this become plus plus 1 similarly root 2 plus 1. Okay now I am going to multiple this. So if I multiple 4 plus 1 root 2 into root 2 plus 1 divided by this is in the format of a minus b into a plus b is it so which is equal to what a square minus b square here a is what root 2 so root 2 whole square plus 1 is 1 so root 2 is root and square get cancel and 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so the denominator becomes 1 okay so which is equal to 4 plus root 2 into root 2 plus 1 now I am going to multiply that with individual. So 4 into root 2 is 4 root 2. Similarly 4 into 1 is 4. So root 2 into root 2 is root 2 into root 2 is 2. Is it? Similarly root 2 into 1 is sorry root 2 into 1 is root 2. So 4 plus 2 is what? 6. Here 4 plus 1 is what? So, 5 root. So, the answer for this question is 6 plus 5 root. Okay. So, keep practicing tries at tries. Then you will get a perfect answer. Here, we are going to, we are using the two method. First one is how to take the complex square root. And second method is how to take the conjugate. So, if we use these two techniques, and that's how you can get the perfect answers. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.